Uh, we made a robot that can solve Rubik's Cubes. Oh, man. We basically started by splitting up the work between the three of us, between computer vision, uh, the AI that solves it, and the robotics that actually physically move the cube. Logan and I were actually kind of getting interested in electronics, so we thought it'd be cool as computer science majors to do something physical. Usually you don't see that, it's a lot of software on the screen things. So we thought it'd be cool to actually make a physical product. Um, I was also interested in artificial intelligence, so I wanted to tie it in somehow. And Rubik's Cubes are like a pinnacle of human intelligence, so it, it's a pretty cool feat to be able to train an artificial intelligence to do it. It's a pretty good benchmark for artificial intelligence, so that's kind of why I chose to do that. So the cameras will actually scan the cube, provide the orientation and the colors of the cube, um, its physical state, and then transform it into a string or data structure. My job is to convert that to a digital cube and find a solution and send it to Logan's robot to solve. My part finally receives that data uh, over USB uh, into a little Arduino microcontroller that will then send or parse and send each of those commands to the six stepper motors uh, that are mounted and it will turn each face of the cube until it reaches a solution. Well, so after Pacific, um, I got hired uh, at Epic. Um, they're based out of Madison, Wisconsin, and I'll be working as a software developer there starting in July. And I interned for the last year with Intel, and they offered me a job as Cloud Technology Validation Software Engineer, so I'll be joining them after graduation. And I'll be going to Amazon as a software development engineer after graduation. <laughs>